usefulness of plasma DDAM level for monitoring development of distant organ metastasis in colorectal cancer patient after curative resection. Distant organ metastasis often occurs in colorectal cancer patient. About 40% to 50% of CRC patients will develop distant organ metastasis after resection of primary tumor. Therefore, it is necessary for them to monitor distant organ metastasis during post-operative visit. Currently, CE and LDH are the routine biomarkers for monitoring distant organ metastasis in CRC. However, their sensitivity ranges from 50% to 17%. Thus, more valuable biomarkers are needed. Studies have shown that the DAM levels are related to tumor state and prognosis in CRC. Therefore, we want to further investigate the performance of the dimer for monitoring distant organ metastasis in CRC. Based on the inclusion and exclusion criteria, 178 CRC patients with security resection were finally enrolled in our study. During follow-up, 92 patients developed distant organ metastasis, and 86 had no evidence of distant organ metastasis at the last return visit. For patients with metastasis, the dimer, CEA, and LDH were measured on the day distant organ metastasis was confirmed. For patients without metastasis, the dimer, CEA, and LDH were measured at last follow-up. Results showed that the dimer levels in CRC patients with distant organ metastasis was higher than that in non-metastasis patients. The results were not affected by different follow-up. And the result were also not affected by age, smoke history, or chemotherapy. Agreement AC showed that the agreement between the dimer and the C was fair. ROC curve showed that the dimer had a larger area on the ROC compared to CE or LDH. And a different combination of the dimer with CE or LDH could further improve sensitivity, specificity. PPV, MPV, and so on. Therefore, we conclude that combination with CA and all LDH, the dimer could be a useful marker for predicting distant organ metastasis in CRC patient after QT resection. Thank you.